Hello and welcome to the uh, technologycloset.com uh, website. Here you will find videos of uh, various uh, instructional tutorials. We're starting out today with Windows 8, the brand new Windows 8, the replacement for your current Windows 7. What you see on your screen right now is the lock screen on Windows 8. When you installed Windows 8 on your computer or when you got your new computer that had Windows 8 already installed on it, you had to set up a username and a password. In doing so, when you boot up your computer the next time, you'll get this particular lock screen. This is the default lock screen. And yes, you can change it. To log in, click anywhere on the lock screen itself. You will then see your login information. In this case, we're user1. And we're going to set uh, our password. Once the password is entered and accepted, you will get the start screen. This is Windows New Start Screen. This is called a user interface. It allows you, the user, to make selections of certain applications or functions to do things. Unfortunately, it's kind of a radical design from the previous Windows versions. So there's a little bit more learning curve uh, to this. What you see on the screen is, of course, this very beautiful background that they have. But you'll also see these little squares or rectangles. These are called tiles. These tiles, as you can see, some of them are actually changing as we speak. That's because these are actively uh, updating data from the Internet uh, to give you the most current information for that particular tile. For example, this one down here is the finance uh, tile and you can see it is changing based on information from the stock market. Over here we have the weather applet. This tile will update the weather for your particular area once you have set it up to do so. We have a calendar. We have mail. We have things called desktop, Internet Explorer, and maps. Games, music, and video tiles are there as well, but unfortunately for many of us, we will not be using these because they, for myself as an example, I do not use the Xbox, which is Microsoft's primary gaming uh, platform. I don't need this tile. I can remove it. But we're not here to show you how to do those things yet. We just want to give you an overview of Windows 8 and the start uh, screen. What can we do on the start screen? Well, first, we can actually look at some of these tiles. I'm going to select the uh, News tile by just simply clicking on it. And as you can see, the News tile, with its fancy little animation, will load up background information live from the Internet. You do not have to do anything else. At the bottom of the screen, there's a slide bar. And as you slide the bar to the right, you'll see the various other types of information from this particular uh, applet, in this case news. World news, and in some cases local news, depending upon when you set up or change anything on this applet, it will ask permission to use uh, the local IP address. We'll get into that a little later as well to identify your apparent location so that it can give you the data for your location. Now as you can see we're in the news tile and you're looking at the news and now you're done. How do you get back to the start screen? Very simple. Although it doesn't tell you this, I will tell you this. Look at the lower left hand corner of your keyboard. 
you'll see the CTRL key. Immediately to the right of that is that Windows key. And I'll bet many of you have been wondering why that key was there. Well, no, that key is not there for Windows 8. That key is there for all Windows versions. They all took advantage of it, but many of us didn't know that. All you simply do is hit that Windows key. Notice we're back here to the start screen. Very simple, very easy. Let's go to another application. Let's look at Maps. If we click on the Map tile, Windows 8 on the Internet will go out and bring up, in this case, a map of the United States. From here, you can select with your mouse pointer uh, let's pick Nebraska. Double click on Nebraska and you can see it starts to get bigger. Notice too you have minus sign and a plus sign. So if we click on the plus sign it gets bigger. And as we keep clicking on the plus sign we can actually get into various streets, topographies, whatever. Uh, directions perhaps uh, yes, and this is the Bing Maps. Bing being Microsoft's answer to uh, search and uh, maps. Again, we want to leave the map section here. Simply hit your Windows key. Now, if we look over on the screen itself, we see the word start. The tile sitting on this purple background. This purple background has a function. Uh, and by the way, you cannot change it uh, to anything you would, you would like. There are various changes that we can make to this background, but they're fixed. We can only select what Microsoft allows us to use. But this background is active. And what I mean by that is, let's assume you're a Windows 7 user and you want to use the control panel. Well, on Windows 7, you would have to move your arrow down to the lower left of the screen, select the start orb, select control panel. We don't have that with Windows 8. What we need to do is simply make sure that the mouse pointer is on a blank spot on the back of the screen, not on a, tau, a tile. Let's go and put the, the mouse cursor on the back of the screen and start typing the word control. I started with CON and you'll notice that one of the first things that came up on the left hand side is control panel. If I click on control panel for you Windows 7 users you'll see what looks like a Windows 7 desktop and on the desktop is the control panel uh, screen. If you are familiar with control panel this looks exactly like Windows 7. If I close down the control panel uh, box and look at the what looks like the Windows 7 desktop you'll notice that we have a recycle bin we have a uh, taskbar on the lower right but look at the lower left we have the blue E for Internet Explorer and we have the little file folder for just that file explorer but there's no start button how do we re get, get out of this screen? Again, we hit the Windows key. Let's do that. Now you'll notice on the start screen that one of the tiles shows in the very bottom left, in this case, desktop. If I click on that, I'm back to the desktop. From there, I can open up the file folder. And now it looks just like, again, if you're a Windows 7 user, it defaults to the libraries, in this case documents, music, pictures, and videos. But you have access to other things as well, including this thing called the desktop. Looks just like Windows 7. So once we get here, if you're familiar and feel comfortable working from this screen, you do have some functionality to do that. Again, when we close down any box in this screen, to leave this screen, we hit the Windows key. But here's another interesting thing about Windows 8. If I move the mouse cursor to the lower left of the screen, notice we get a little start icon. Looks just like our start screen. If I click on that, let's do that, it brings me right back to the start menu. 
this is going to st we're going to uh, stop right here at this point uh, since we're at about the 10 minute mark we will be doing part two and if necessary part three on the introduction to uh, Windows 8 I hope you uh, come back and thank you for listening